therefore inclined, Mr. Chair, to um, deny um, um, the request if so, if if it will be forwarded to the committee, uh, because this is show of um, how do you say it? bad faith or suspend consideration, Mr. Chair, because makikiusap ka dito na humihingi ka ng uh, pagpapalaya kasan sa likuran namin kakasuhan nyo naman kami sa ibang ko, sa Korte Suprema so sa akin palagay po Mr. Chair uh, <laughs> hindi yata sumasang-ayon yun sa common logic at saka sa ipinapakiusap ng, ng kanyang kliyente dito sa sulat na binasa natin kanina I suggest that we suspend consideration not entirely deny the uh subject matter or the request because uh, although they have already filed uh, cases in the Supreme Court, they can always withdraw the cases filed in uh, the court. So, tignan po natin kung ano ang direction nila Celis and ni Badoy. If uh, they really want uh, this committee to decide on the request, then there is no recourse. They have to withdraw the cases in uh, in the Supreme Court before we even uh, start considering uh, the request. So, Mr. Chair, I, I, I strongly suggest that we suspend consideration on this matter. Kung Suarez at iba pang mga kongresista na nagpa-detain kay Badoy at ka Eric biglang nawala ang angas matapos sumugod sa Korte Suprema ang kanikaniyang asawa nila ka Eric at Badoy kasama ang kanilang abogado na si Attorney Harry Roque. Naghain sila ng petition for certiorari and for habeas corpus. Ihiniling nilang pakawala ng dalawa mula sa detention facility ng House of Representatives. Ayon kay Attorney Harry Roque, inabuso umano ng House Committee on Legislative Franchises ang kapangyarihan sa pagsight in contempt sa dalawa. Labag din umano ito sa kanilang karapatan sa malayang pamamahayag at pananalita. Yung pagdalo uh, ngayong araw, no? ito po yung makasaysayan na araw para sa lahat ng mamamahayag dahil uh, uh, sinusulong po natin ang karapatan ng malayang pamamahayag. Ang isa sa pa po ay uh, petition para sa habeas corpus at certiorari sa pangalan po ni Lorraine Badoy at saka ni Ka Eric Celis. No? Ang issue po rito, unang-una, kung pwede bang mag-contempt at magpakulong ang Kamara de Representante laban sa mga media na ginagamit lamang ang kanilang karapatan para sa malayang pamamahayag? O ito ba ay pinagbabawal ng sa aligang batas bilang subsequent punishment para sa freedom of the press? Pangalawa, pwede bang i-contempt ang isang mamamahayag kung ayaw niyang sabihin ang source niya dahil nga sa sotulo? So ang re-resolve ba ng hukuman dito ay um, mas makapangyarihan ba ang kongreso ng bumuo ng sotolo na nagsasabi na hindi po pwedeng pilitin ang mga mamamahayag na i-reveal ang kanilang sources kung ito po ay itatanong sa kongreso ng hearing. So ang tanong, mas makapangyarihan ba ang kongreso kesa doon sa batas na pinuun nila. No? At pangatlo siyempre ay um, po pwede ba magpakulong ang kongreso ng walang due process? Dahil nakita nyo naman po, Si um, Lorraine Badoy pinakulong dahil ang sagot niya, minsan oo, minsan hindi. Pero ang tanong, meron bang advertiser sa problema, programa niyong laban sa bayan? Dahil po doon sa pagkakaiba ng sagot niya, kung may advertiser sa wala, kinulong na siya dahil sa rapoy nagsisinungaling. At ang kasalanan naman pa ni Ka Eric, eh, ayaw nga niyang iribil ang source niya dahil sa sotolo. At ang sabi ng uh, mga congressmen, hindi raw po pwedeng i-invoke ang sotolo sa Kamara de Representante. So ito po ay um, hindi lang po uh, makasaysayan para sa lahat ng mga mamamahayag ito po yung potang araw para sa demokrasya. Dahil kung wala pong malayang pamamahayag, eh masusupin po talaga ang diskusyon, ang debate na kinakailangan natin para gumana ang ating demokrasya. So hindi lang po si Badoy at si Ka Eric ang dumudulog ngayon sa Korte Suprema, kundi lahat po ng mamamayang Pilipino na nagbibigay importansya sa malayang pamamahayag, malayang pananalita at demokrasya dito sa ating bansa. Sa sa Well, ang sensurary po is grave abuse of discretion nga kasi binaliwala ang shield law na soto law at hindi sila binigyan ng uh, due process rights. Nakita naman na po natin na nung sabi ni uh, Bagoy na meron siyang advertiser, minsan walang advertiser, eh pinakulong na siya. At syempre, yung uh, hindi pagpayag ni, uh, ni Ka Eric na sabihin kung sinong source niya. I am therefore inclined, Mr. Chair, to um, deny um, um, the request if so if if it will be forwarded to the committee uh, because this is show of um how do you say it bad faith or suspend consideration mr chair kasi 
makikiusap ka dito na humihingi ka ng uh, pagpapalaya kasi sa likuran namin kakasuhan niyo naman kami sa ibang ko- sa Korte Suprema. So sa akin palagay po Mr. Chair uh, <laughs> hindi yata sumasang-ayon 'yon sa common logic at saka sa ipinapakiusap ng ng kanyang kliyente dito sa sulat na binasa natin kanina. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, the Honorable Pimentel and the Honorable Abante. Mr. Chair, uh, I suggest that we suspend consideration, not entirely deny the uh, subject matter or the request because uh, although they have already filed uh, cases in the Supreme Court, they can always withdraw the cases filed in uh, the court. So, Tignan po natin kung ano ang direction nila Celis and ni Badoy. If uh, they really want uh, this committee to decide on the request, then there is no recourse. They have to withdraw the cases in uh, in the Supreme Court before we even uh, start considering uh, the request. So, Mr. Chair, I, I, I strongly suggest that we suspend consideration on this matter. Mr. Chair. <clears throat> Actually, I was about to make a motion for furlough, but because of this uh, development that even Congressman Suarez has said and Congressman uh, Pimentel, I would uh, I would agree with them, Mr. Chair. Unless otherwise, unless otherwise, uh, Mr. Celis would be able to convince those that filed to withdraw immediately. We might be able to consider, but if they had, if they will not be able to withdraw, Mr. Chair, then uh, we would like to let them know that they're going to stay here in, the, in this Christmas season from here until New Year. And that would be very, very hard for them. They should realize that. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Abante. So, yeah, the motion of the Honorable uh, Pimentel. The motion, yes. Mr. Chair, I move that we suspend the consideration on the request of uh, Mr. Celis. Uh, so move, Mr. Chair. There's a motion Second. second seconded by the Honorable uh, Senior Deputy Speaker uh, Gonzalez and the Honorable Benny Abante. The Chair has no objections on a unanimous vote. vote, on a unanimous vote. Uh, we, are, we are going to uh, suspend the um, decision of uh, the request of uh, Ka Eric until we're able to clear it with them personally. Uh, as to this... Um, um, uh, case that they have filed before the Supreme Court and the contents of the case. Um, we, I'd like to thank the Honorable Abante, who was earlier ready to move to approve the or to allow uh, Ka Eric, but uh, I agree that I think uh, we will have to make clear the uh, position that they have taken legally before we can uh, move on with our decision as a committee. Mr. So Chair, then, further. Yes. Uh, upon hearing what Congressman Suarez has said, I think that uh, his letter and the actuations of uh, uh, the loved ones that filed uh, in Supreme Court is highly hypocritical. And uh, uh, we want to ferret the truth here, and we do not want anybody here that would uh, make a big fool out of us, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Honorable Abante. Uh, that is uh, very clear. So that being the case, the... Um the decision uh, whether to grant the request of the Honorable Kai Eric for a um, uh, furlough is hereby uh, suspended until further clarification. And I would like to ask all members to, uh, at any given time, a special session or a special can, a regular session can be, regular meeting can be called or a special session if this happens after Wednesday. Thank you very much. So, so therefore, the motion is approved. We now uh, proceed uh, for the favorite motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. May we? NTC is present, correct? Uh, there's a uh, resolution of the Honorable Ginto. Can you comment on that before we suspend uh, the hearing? This is the resolution um, 1425. 
on the relationship of um, of uh, Saraga International Management Corporation and uh, Bascog Net Network Corporation Consulting Services in relation to the prohibition under Section 12 of Republic Act 10974. Can you uh, please uh, comment on this? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Uh, initially, Mr. Chair, we concur that uh, Saraga was authorized to operate an FM station in uh, Roja City. They were issued a temporary permit to, for them to operate the subject FM station. Uh, as regards the... How do you call this? Whether it's a management agreement or... or consultancy services will uh, as uh, the NTC has previously mentioned in earlier hearings uh, this uh, these uh, contracts or management uh, however you call it we do not uh, recognize this uh, Mr. Chair we only recognize the franchise grantee as the licensee the grantee of the authority to operate the subject FM station but nevertheless we will look into the matter your honor and provide the necessary uh, necessary guidance to aid this committee uh, regarding this resolution, Mr. Chair. Okay. Any uh, the Honorable Ginto? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Chair uh, since the uh, majority of the resource persons are not here present, uh, this committee, despite uh, invitations, sent to them, hopefully in the next meeting they can yeah. attend and shed light and also uh, provide us answers regarding the um, next information meeting. that uh, NTC has provided. Okay. So can we, do you have a position paper on this? Not yet. Can we you prepare the position paper suggest. so that in the next hearing, uh, suggested by the proponent, we will discuss the uh, this bill yes. uh, in its entirety with all the resource persons present. Okay. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank, thank, you, thank you very much. We thank you. Complain, Mr. Yes, the Honorable Ramon Gutierrez. Mr. Chair, just very quickly. Um, the invited resource persons, at least we have a representative for the NTC, but can we confirm with the ComSec that the BIR and Saraga Integrated Management Corporation are not around? Yes. Yes, uh, Your Honors. We have invited the Saraga Integrated, integrated uh, Management Corporation of the Philippines and the uh, BIR of... Uh, Roja City, uh, Sar the Saraga Integrated Management Corporation uh, relate to us that we will not be able to attend today as they have just received the invitation Thursday and they were not able to act on it because it was holiday Friday and the entire weekend. Okay. Mr. Chair, was the, were these resource persons also invited? Because I believe we took up this resolution last hearing also. Or hindi po ba? So first, initial. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. So uh, we will uh, give them enough ample time since this will be already discussed after the holidays. So we, on the first hearing date, we will now include this so that uh, the uh, resource persons involved will be ample time to will have ample time to prepare. The Comsec is directed to uh, please uh, uh, set the date already of the next hearing on the first week of the assumption of the uh, of our regular session. So thank you very much. Uh, there being no other items in uh, today's agenda, the chair will entertain a motion. Mr. Chair, I move to suspend uh, hearings on this matter. There's a motion to suspend. Duly seconded. The chair in objection. Session suspended. Thank you very much. Good afternoon.